Hi, Dr. Wilshire here. So you're pregnant and you've developed the dreaded morning sickness. Nausea and vomiting in pregnancy is very, very common. At least 70% of women who are pregnant get some symptoms of nausea. Now it's called morning sickness because that's probably the most common time uh, of experiencing symptoms, but women can get those symptoms throughout the day. That's not unusual. 3% of women will get severe nausea and vomiting. It's called hyperemesis gravidarum. And that's where a woman is puking all the time, losing weight, can't hold down food or water. And that can be a medical emergency. That can be a big, serious problem. Now, morning sickness can develop pretty early in pregnancy. Um, usually it subsides by around 12 weeks pregnancy, and it generally peaks at around nine weeks pregnancy as measured by the first day of the last menstrual period. Um, a certain percentage of women, it will persist and unfortunately can go throughout the pregnancy, although that's uh, fairly rare. Why women have morning sickness is uh, subject of lots of debate. Nobody knows for sure. Maybe it was a survival adaptation and for women in the old, old days, allowed them to be very sensitive perhaps to rotted or bad food that would be dangerous to eat. Perhaps that's uh, an explanation for it. Now, risk factors for uh, nausea and vomiting are multiple gestation. Women with twins or triplets are at higher risk. If a woman has had this in previous pregnancies, she's at higher risk. Uh, a woman who has a history of being sensitive uh, to motion, has motion sickness or migraines, probably higher risk as well. Now, there is a silver lining uh, with morning sickness. Uh, women with morning sickness tend to have fewer miscarriages. And there's absolutely no indication that morning sickness is associated with birth defects. So don't worry about birth defects if you're having these common symptoms. Traditionally, uh, women in England with this were treated with tea and toast, very bland foods. That was a way to get at least some energy in the system and some fluids in the system. Um, some women when they're pregnant should be on special diets, but if you're puking up everything, giving at least something down is better than nothing uh, usually. Um, common sense says avoid the smells and the spices and the foods that bother you. Um, natural therapies include a ginger. I've seen ginger crystals, they're kind of bitter, but you can also get ginger candy, which is ginger mixed with sugar and crystallized, and sucking on one of those or putting it under the tongue is helpful to some women. Uh, some women use acupuncture, there's acupressure bands that are sold for motion sickness. It's a little band that pushes on this pressure point here. Uh, that may help some women. Um, there's prescription medicines that I'm going to talk about now. But also in the, uh, in the social world, people will talk about using marijuana or smoking pot. Obviously, as a doctor, I cannot advocate for marijuana. Although I can say in general, everything has risks and benefits. And I've certainly heard of some women who get relief from a small amount of marijuana with apparently very low risk, but I am not advocating for that. Now, prescriptions for uh, nausea and vomiting are very, very um, widely used. A, a, an old medicine that was given new life is called diclegis. Diclegis is a mixture of a sleeping medication called doxylamine and pyridoxine, which is vitamin B6. Um, it was uh, used uh, many decades ago uh, in a form of it's called bendectine uh, or bendectin, and it was taken off the market uh, due to uh, uh, legal reasons and liability. But there was never any evidence that it was truly harmful, and modern evidence confirms it is not harmful. Um, when diclegis came out, it was very expensive, but it's my understanding that there are some generic versions that are cheaper. If one does not have health insurance or uh, it costs a lot of money with co-pays and whatnot, women can just take the ingredients of uh, diclegis, which are unisom, the, the dicyclamine, di, uh, dicylamine, I always pronounce that word wrong, doxylamine, there you go. Um, now be careful, unisom has four different uh, formulations. The 
the title of the appropriate one is called sleep tabs. They're 25 milligrams. They're doxylamine, um, pure medication, nothing else in it, no Benadryl, no nothing. And obviously you take that at night, it'll help you sleep. And generally some remains in your blood the next morning and should help with the next day's morning sickness. Uh, vitamin B6, pyridoxine is very safe. Most tablets are 10 milligrams or 25 milligrams. And it's very hard to overdose on that. One or two of those tablets throughout the day in combination with Unisom can certainly be helpful. We frequently use a very powerful anti-nausea medicine called Zofran. Zofran comes from the world of cancer treatments where people are given chemotherapy, which causes horrible nausea. And Zofran is a very powerful medicine and is very, very helpful. We like to do the more conservative, safer, cheaper treatments before we move on to Zofran, but frequently we do. Now, there was a study a few years ago showing a slight increase in, in heart problems or cardiac defects with oral Zofran. Um, the data was never very compelling. I've seen a more recent study where Zofran was used intravenously, where you know it's going in at a high dose into the blood, and there was absolutely no increase in birth defect. And like I said before, everything in medicine has risks and benefits, and if a woman's having horrible nausea and vomiting, Zofran's frequently the best choice, at least in our experience. In rare cases, women have to be hospitalized for intravenous fluids. We've even used chemotherapy pumps that have various cocktails of uh, anti-nausea medicines that go right into the vein. Once again, used usually for cancer patients with severe nausea, and we see, have seen good results with that in the most severe cases of hyperemesis gravidarum. So that's my take on morning sickness, nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. Hopefully these uh, suggestions are helpful to you and you can go on to have a healthy, successful, rewarding pregnancy.